Hi guys, and thanks for watching my video on Puck Puck. Uh, Puck Puck is a game I made uh, not long after I finished university. Um, I did multimedia technology at university, and we studied things like um, some programming languages, um, animation, 3D modeling, uh, and games design. So there's a games design module in the course. Uh, of course, there are full games design courses you can do. This is just sort of one module within uh, a series of modules um, on the multimedia technology course that I did. Uh, which involved other things like networking uh, and things like that. So uh, I really enjoyed the game design module that I did uh, and a lot of the games I worked on um, during the course. And I wanted to make something else as a bit of a passion project for something just for me that I wanted to do. So this was a solo project. I did everything myself um, using the Game Maker software that we've been taught how to use during the course. Um, so I tried to keep everything fairly simple. I had to draw the a lot of the sprites myself. Um, so I kept the character design quite straightforward. Um, I did have um, some resource packs I could use from the software, so I didn't draw everything on there, but I drew all of the actual Puck Puck characters and all the different power-ups and things like that that were in there. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the games I made at that time were all on older versions of Windows, um, on older versions of the software, and you can't export the files in the same way. So a lot of the files now are no longer available to play. Uh, I'm playing on an older laptop of mine that still runs those files. Um, I did used to have the files all available to download from my old website, which is, isn't up anymore. Um, but I wanted to showcase this again um, and see what you guys think. Uh, I might be working on some new stuff in the future. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying some other um, game development software uh, and have a little play around with it. And it just made me think back to when I used to do that. Uh, bear in mind, I've, I finished university, what, probably 15 years ago now. So it's been a long time since I've really dabbled in any sort of uh, programming or games design. Um, so I thought for today, I was going to go back and play a bit of Puck Puck, um, and do some commentary as I play through and explain what I did and, and talk about the level design. And, and hopefully it's something you enjoy watching. Um, it was a really good, fun project to do, and I really enjoyed making it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video of Puck Puck. So here we are. Uh, this is the title screen for Puck Puck. And as you can see, you've got all the different characters and stuff you can play as floating around in the background. We'll get a closer for those later as we play through. Uh, I did include a password feature. Uh, we can enter a password. Um, I, could, I included some high scores, things like that. And there's like the little control thing of how you actually play the game. Um, so just a few things that then actually that was quick set. So uh, without further ado, uh, this is what I'm just going to move my mouse on the track away as well. There we go. Right, let's begin. So it started off with like a little animation. Uh, like the sky and the, the ground were all pretty good. So the puck puck lives in the piece of the puck puck field. Uh, so. But then the bad pucks came. <laughs> God, I've not seen this for so long. Again, I made this like seven years ago. And these are the, the bad pucks that came to terrorise the good puck pucks. Classic stuff, eh? Uh, they captured all the Puck Puck and took them away. Luckily, one Puck Puck managed to escape. There he goes. So he set off to rid the land of the bad Pucks and try and save all his friends. Oh, yeah, I thought that was, you know, I was quite chuffed with that, really. I thought that was quite good. Right, the Puck Puck Fields is the first level. So let's see if I'm. And, You've got coins, there you go. you've got your lives in the top left hand corner. How many lives I've got? I've got a score. Now these are the power ups, so I don't have any ability um, to begin with when I press space bar. If I jump through here, I am a ninja. Now you notice that that's disappeared. Some of the ones are needed for the puzzles I kept in. Let's see. Ah, oh, this brings back so many memories of playing this game. It might be a bit buggy in places, you know, I'm not a professional. Um, oh, speedy one. Shoom. So it's some of the power-ups you need in order to, let's see if we get this extra life, some of the power-ups you need in order to um, get, actually get through the level, uh, and some of them are just like, you know, to help you stay alive. Right, this is the bomb. Oh, got hit by him. Right, well, so as, the, as you see, the power-up stays there for this one. There you go, but I'm getting extra life. And you see now my live counter goes from uh, images to a number. Um, so I changed it so that if you get over a certain number of lives, you... Uh, it doesn't it displays it as a number instead, so it'll fit on screen. Right, I'm gonna try and keep this guy. And this is the end of the first screen. Um, in the 
The thing that I use, I don't actually just want to use this guy because this is the tumbling floor. Whoa. That's not quite fixed yet. Told you it's buggy in places. Um, there we go, that was the idea of it. Whee! Right, um, this is a shield. If I hold on spacebar, it protects me from the rocks. Now the rocks were quite a clever thing, so um, the way the rocks work is there's the same number of rocks on screen all the time, and as soon as they hit the floor, they respawn at a random um, coordinate to the top. So obviously the uh, horizontal position is set and the vertical position is randomised. So you've just got to have tumbling rocks, I thought it was a, a good feature to include. Um, I was learning as I was going, I, did, I just tried different things, but oh, what, this, oh, what if I did this and put that in there? Uh, here's one where you can get some more. And you can fit through some other gaps, I can break these blocks. I can't remember if the coins really did much, or if it was just score. I can't remember if I put uh, extra lives for it, so I don't think I did. Um, so you see here, if I was a normal size, I wouldn't fit under this bit. Because I'm small, it doesn't glitch at all, uh, I can get free. So you can see a lot of these sprites were duplicated and things. Um, see the enemies look a bit like you as well. Um, just, you know, I'm not an artist, so I just did circles of dots on their face. Right. Oh, okay. On Ninja again. Uh, ninja stars. Oh, you know, I thought I would um, know like every inch of this game. There's going to be bits that I'm going to be like, oh, God, I remember that. I just tried to make it as interesting as I could. Right, this is a good bit. This is um, a flying power-up. And actually, once you've got it, you're constantly moving in one direction. And so you, I don't, you don't, you're not static. And all you can do is change the direction he's flying in. Uh, and I have a few levels in the game which is focus around uh, this power-up. I thought it just, you know, broke up the gameplay elements a bit. Went from it being like a side-scrolling TV platformer to like a, a scrolling level. Uh, and I always enjoy that in games that I play. You know, you, you have a level which is a suddenly a side-scrolling shooter or something. Um, let's get these coins. Oh, that's fine. Uh, now this power-up, when I get it, it, I thought this was quite fun. Um, when you land on the ground, you create a shockwave. And then that's needed to break into this bit. I think, if I remember correctly, if I... No, I do need that to get over. I thought there's a way of... If I kept it. Obviously, without the speed, um, you can jump further. Um, and this one is... A teeny! I think... Ah! Oh. And that was... <laughs> that was my, uh... Cloud... I just... You know, you know me, I love Final Fantasy VII. I was like, okay, I'm just going to have a little cloud spot in there. I mean, it looks terrible, doesn't it? But, hey. Die! There we go. I think in this bit, if you keep hold of the little one, there's an extra life down there. I think that's a continue, actually. Oh, invincibility! Obviously, I do not have the rights to any of this music. <laughs> music. Uh, I was never looking to profit off of this, it's just a bit of fun. Um, so a lot of the music you will recognise from obvious games, you know, it's not, it's not my, my stuff. Right, I think there is a way... Ooh, that's run out now. Uh, let's just go back and get this possibly a ninja one again. I do expand on the power ups as a game. Oh no, this is a spike one. This is uh, quite a fun one. So I thought, uh, this is one that fires in all directions. And you see the spikes come off of them, and then they grow back. I thought that's quite fun. Um, you know, some of the power ups are like, you know, the speed up to get across gaps, and the time on to get through um, smaller spaces, but some of them were just like, oh, you know, what would be a cool way of um, fighting the enemies? Right, so I think if I go up here and get the tiny, I can go all the way back and get that continue. Um, I mean, not that I'm probably going to need it. I should know this game at the back of my hand because I actually made it and designed every level. So I do know the, should know the layout of absolutely everything. But, um, you know, it has been a good, like, what, probably 14 years? Getting uh, a stop that. Um, I can't remember what music this soundtrack is from, but you'll obviously recognise some of the music from the game. I didn't get anyone to music for me. Um, I just took music off of some MIDI files that I had and <coughs> used them in the game. Um, so yeah, it is an original. But hey, uh, again, I'm not a musician or an artist, you know. So I did, I did my best. Again, like things like the coins. Ooh, a giant one. Now, if I remember this way, I can get ooh, fire power up. 
I think I've got just enough room to shoot at him from here. Uh, obviously, if you didn't know that, you would be like trying to avoid him and get down there. And you can actually hear him from here, so it's a cheeky. Movement. I think he can jump on his head. There you go, he's dead. First boss. Super easy. Um, here's the password for the first level climbing trees. And this is the Tup Tup Forest. So that's. Uh, this one is all in the trees. Again, the tree sprites are already in the software. Um, there's a rain animation, so it's like, ah, oh, let's have a rain level, because that just looks cool. Um, so try to introduce something new each level. So. Okay, what happens in there is notice I didn't actually hit him with a sword. Um, when I swing the sword, it creates an invisible object at that range that is the thing that's actually doing the damage. So if the animation fails for any reason, the, the damage is still being done. An invisible thing. Um, it was much easier to get the sprites to do what I wanted with very specific shapes and not the actual sprite. So I actually, that if you look at the rooms in the software, there are um, loads of invisible squares everywhere which are actually doing the, the programming fe features. So, um, for example, what I'm walking on here, all of the background is just an image. Um, it's basically been drawn piece by piece and tiles. And I'm actually walking along invisible squares. And that's how it's been done. All right. So it occasionally gets stuck in the water. So what about a mouse here? Get away, you. All right. Um, let's see. I'm see I, I'm, I think I remember all the levels in here, but I might get surprised about them. Like, oh my god, I don't know. That's right, bomb. So the bomb's a one-time use. So if I blow up, I go into my damaged um, puck and then turn, turns back so yeah if you get damaged you're invulnerable for like a few seconds as you saw there and um, getting blown up kind of affects it the same way um, so yeah right and then that allows me to go into here which allows me to get tiny which allows me to fit through the small gap you know pretty basic stuff really I mean just uh experimenting with uh, designing levels and stuff and, and that was the most fun part right you do all the first bits of like right how what happens if you land on an enemy oh no i missed a bit in a certain direction i could do this where it's dead uh and then you know how gravity works and a lot of the basics oh no that's a hole oops um and as you carry on you then sort of um once you've built all the sprites and the objects you get an object you give it a sprite then once you've got a sprite uh, once you've got a sprite, um, you then give it design. So basically what happens is when I press jump, um, it tells this object what to do when I press the up button. And then you have, say, when you press spacebar, it creates a fireball. Uh, when a fireball collides with an enemy, it destroys the enemy, it generates an object of explosion, um, it increases your score by one, um, and then the object's explosion kind of like runs the sprite once and then disappears. And all, all that's all about the game logic that's in there, right? So there's loads of game logic and if statements and things like that. And then when you get to the room, you can just draw what you want your level and your world to look like and just go, right, I have an enemy there, an enemy there. Oh, I'll stick this up here. And just literally, point and click. basically, like um, very much how Super Mario Maker works, if you've ever played that. Um, so once you've done all the hard bits, the next stage of that was the most fun for me. It's like, oh, I can come up with these different level uh, layouts and stuff. So right, um, now this bit I did it to... Oh, so it's quite clever, if you go into an enemy, if you hit the enemy from a certain direction, uh, it counts as hitting you, so uh, what I needed to make it so that it only hurt an enemy. Uh, I know we've got a bit more coins because we've been here all day. Um, it only damages the enemy if you come in from that direction. Right, I'm not going to can't kill anything in this form. You need it to get up. So I'm just going to avoid all these enemies. Get to the top. Avoid that guy. Oh, so I've got like I think the coins are in there just for score. Obviously, as you've seen on the main menu, I did have a high score mode. Um, so I think I can either fly over or use the super speed. So I'm gonna try using the super speed so I can get. Oh, he's got a spike on his head, so I can't actually damage him. Teeny, what do I need to? Right, so uh, I remember doing this bit. This is. Oh, that was it. There's an extra life down there, but you need to carry the, uh, you need to have the flying one to get there, because otherwise that's a pitfall death. Whoops. Um, so right, so we need to blow that up, then I need to go back and get the tiny, and then I can get through, as I think what I remember doing here. Right, so first get the bomb. Oh, I'll get through all that. So I get the bomb, go over here, blow up the wall, and then go back and get small, so I can fit through the gap later on. 
I basically just wanted to like include as many different things I like from games as possible. This is kind of just like a my own personal love letter to platform games. You know, I love power ups and um, puzzle solving and all those different elements. And on hand on heart, honest to God, I had never played Kirby before this. And years later, I then went uh, on an emulator and played Kirby's Dreamland or one of those ones. And I was like, oh my god, this is so much like Puck Puck. Um, I didn't actually realise how similar to um, Kirby this was. Obviously, you know, cute little character, platform game, you get tons of power-ups. Obviously, Kirby, you absorb the enemies and that sort of thing. Um, and, and yeah, it was just that moment I was playing it thinking, oh, it's so, so similar. I didn't realise. Yeah, there's honestly an honest mistake. I accidentally made it very similar to Kirby, uh, even though I never actually played the Kirby games. Come like, here, you're right, you can give this a um, let's see, what's he got here? Ah, oh, well there you go, that's what happens when you get hit, people. Um, I need some demonstrating different features. I do like the rain, I think the rain was a pretty good thing to add on. You just apply the effect of the rain to the room, right, let's get up there. Okay, so let's get down here to get that. So I'm going to need to blow up that wall. I think this allows you to reach a bomb power, and then you block the wall, and then you have to go back and get this again, I think. Um, yeah, these are the ones where it's starting to get a little bit hazy. But here you go. So it's up there. Bomb. Get up there. Blow it up. Oh, oh, I should have gone back and got a thingy. Oh, well, this will, this will do. Uh-oh. Oh, that's what happens when you land on them. Uh, when you don't have a power up. Oh, no, don't do it again. Whoa. Whoa. Even I have died. I mean, good thing this isn't a Tim has one life on. <laughs> this is just... Oh, this is a fun one. It's a cannibal. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> uh, the cannibal, I think, Blart shoots you forward. Um, um, I really liked the um, uh, werewolf character in Darkstalkers. And one of his moves was instead of shooting a fireball, he kind of became the fireball and like, launched himself forward. And I thought that was kind of cool. And I was like, oh, I wonder if that I could do something like that for one of my attacks, because that's quite fun. Um, so I the cannibal, and basically the cannibal one is when you press fire, he launches himself forward a bit and he can hit enemies with it. But unfortunately, I timed that badly and got hit by this guy. Um, never mind. I'm sure I'll have another cannibal power up throughout the game. Alright, is this now going to be the boss, maybe? Oh, stuck the ball. Yeah, it's boss, right. So this one, uh, again, you'll notice the bosses are mostly giant versions of things that you face in the game. Stretching the sprite out. Right, let's try and get over here. And then I want to get power up so I actually hurt the guy. Okay, face that way. Okay, I wait till it goes there. I mean, they, they're pretty easy, really, but I, I guess when I made it, I was like, well, the person playing it isn't going to know uh, how, exactly what to do. So part of this would be like, oh, how do I find this boss? So, but in hindsight, I probably didn't make the bosses a bit too easy to begin with. Um, but again, it's the first like big game I've ever made. Um, all the games I made for my actual university coursework were uh, more like demonstrating that you understood how the tools worked, you know what I mean? It was more like you weren't trying to make um, a good game, you were trying to make a game that demonstrates all the criteria for the coursework, so... Right. Kuluma K. I can't remember the names of these levels, where did I come up with these? Right. Now what music is that from? I reckon that, that's from... Oh, that's um, Sonic the Hedgehog, isn't it? That's um, Santopolis, I think. Gotta love the Sonic the Hedgehog music, right. So again, this has got the rock feature that was featured earlier. Uh, and you can see the spikes there come up and down. You gotta love spike traps, so you gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Okay, right, cool. Um, and, oh, that looks familiar. Yes, I ripped off a one block. I like one blocks, what can I tell you? Um, you know, things like the backgrounds and the spikes, a lot of that was like taken from the, ah, oh, the sprite packs. I didn't draw those, I mostly just drew the puck pucks themselves. I wonder if having oh bugger. I say I wonder if having a bomb in the next screen would be a benefit. So I did try to um, grab that. I, some of them have little animations of uh, when you oh, I do. I forgot that I did that. Um, let's watch this guy as I say it properly. So, oh, you, I say that and don't use it right. Let's leave him still. I think he doesn't do anything. He just is panting. But um, some of the power ups they like do something funny. <coughs> this guy's just a pink version of the green ones who does nothing. Right. Get rid of you. Get rid of that. Get out of here. Get the bomb again. Don't get hit by a rock this time. And take the bomb with me into the next room. Because again, that's the thing I often do. It's like, oh, if you take power with you, 
You can do something. Um, no, I think I'm gonna need this. Whoa, boulder coming down my way. So it's fine across again. These things were spawning continuously. Um, they had different features. Ooh. It's just that you design all the physics for them, you know, put it all in. So they're climbing up here then. Oh god, no. Oh well, I've got an extra life. Good, good to stop. Right, so I have this one here. I've got two ways to go, so you can go up or down. Um, so I thought, oh, I could start adding in options, and there's not just one way to go. So um, there's a new power up in that direction, so I'm going to go down here and grab this. This is a guard the gun. Um, he can shoot, but not while moving. Uh, I quite like how he holds the. Uh, Gun when walking, and there's a little thing like that, he's got a little helmet, but when he walks, he's holding it up. Oh, that's kind of fun. Um, also, a pretty powerful power up. Uh, oh, there's an extra life going this way. Always good. Um, I know it's again another thing that's hard to do is judge. Oh, oops. How many extra lives and how difficult is it? Because it's hard to tell when someone else is doing it. Oh, yeah, so if you went the other way, you can get the um, bomb power to fall through there. I didn't, so I'm going to have to try and just survive a lot going this way. Um, so I went the other, other direction, but I got the extra life going that way, so... Oof. All right, let's get across this screen. Oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. Take that, right, then you've got the little spikes. Oh, an extra life, okay, cool. Now, I think if you go through, exit through the bottom, it's actually a separate exit block. Again, an invisible exit to the room uh, that took you at a different route. Um, because, you know, I'm just experimenting with what we can do. Can't shoot or jump in this guy, I think. So I'm just going to do that one. I think I did it there. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get some more pads. Oh, fire. Um, what I did as well, oh, no. Um, what I did with some of these was I actually put it, but it was random. Oh, it got, got stuck to the floor there. Um, so it would always be the same power. Let's see if that works now. So obviously I previously did, um, got a fire power there. Let's see, I can't jump on those ones. Let's see, because we've got a spike on the Uh Let's see if I get the same power up now. There you go, spiky. So it's not the same every time. No. Ah! There you go. Oh well, right. Even I can't do that, and I made the damn thing. Right, uh, jump across here. You know, um, it's a shame that you can't really get this on the computer. I think it's got, you know, updated windows and things like that, as I said. I won't go into it. It's, it's one of those things, you know, it just happens. Right, um, get across here from the falling rocks. This is the boss. Boss fight area, and you pretty much figure that already, right? He's sitting there laughing at you, like a like a boss that he is, right? I'm gonna try and get across here without being hit, because obviously now I haven't got power up, so I'll get hit now. I'm done for. Uh, get the bomb and make my way back. I think you probably have to make about three trips <coughs> to get to the boss, and then he just requires one little tap. I think I kind of took a bit of inspiration from uh, Earthworm Jim on this one, where. You're trying to get to the fish on level three, and he's kind of like really the main boss, but he's just a fish in a bowl, and you knock him off the podium, and then that's it. I was like, oh, I want to have something where like you have to get to the boss, but then the boss is like nothing. Right. Um, I don't know if he actually hurts me if I jump on him. There we go. <laughs> I was worried right then that I was going to walk into him and get hit. Right. Cloud Kingdom. Um, I remember this, I don't know why, but uh, this sound. There's a bit of a glitch here, where the, the music's playing at double speed. After one run through, I think it then goes to the normal speed. But this is from, not a level in Sonic. I think was, this was from the racing minigame they used to have on Sonic 3. You could do like the contest, couldn't you? That was really cool. I'm just going to like avoid a lot of this. Coins. Yeah, I've tried to go for like, I've done an underground level, what I've done, uh, the fields, the forest, the underground, now the sky. Um, I won't spoil what's coming up. You can keep watching and find out. Um, ooh. So I tried to like, again just mix up the levels, mix up the style and design, and keep it interesting. Um, and the one thing that's really hard to do, right, is um, uh, keep it the right difficulty. Because you don't want to make it too easy. You don't want to make it too hard. And when you're making it, you don't know how hard it is for someone else. And there's bits where like I got someone to test this for me and. They found it a lot harder than I did because like, they just didn't know where anything was. But, now here you go, the music finished. Now you get the normal speed. So you yeah, don't know what was causing that. It didn't happen on anything else. Um, I just never figured it out, so I just left it. You know, no one really cares, do they? Who's playing this game? Me. Um, uh, now, again, this bit, I don't really remember the, everything in here. Um, again, we've got the same 
cloud background. They gave me clouds all from the sprite packs. And I just thought, oh, I'm just going to add the uh, background to be moving. So I've just added a generic thing on there that's scrolling that same image round. Um, and I've obviously got the, uh, the, uh, the, the classic floors that don't stay still thing. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, so you've got the like, Oh, come on. Very so embarrassing stuff now, too. Come on. Get up there. No. Right, okay. That's better. No, stop doing that. Right. There we go. Apologies. That's better. Let's go up here. Alright. <coughs> Alright, obviously it's when you touch it, so if I'm bopping it from underneath. Oh, dang. Uh, if I'm bopping it from underneath, it's still, like, disappearing. Uh, maybe I should have done something about that. Right, so... As you can see... Do you know what? This is actually... This is a funny story. Um, this is the first level I designed. Uh, on a bit of paper when I was at work. I used to work in a call centre. Um, and we it was one of these jobs where if a call came in, you were on the phone immediately talking to a customer. Uh, when you weren't on the phone, um, you didn't have anything to do because you did everything on the call. Um, and if, often it wouldn't be long until another call came in, right? It would just, uh, you'd just have a few seconds in between. And a lot of people would have like a book or something, they'd read a book in between calls. I designed my levels. Um, oh yeah, talk about the uh, idle thing. What's this guy? His head was back. If you leave him long enough. Um, and I had the concept of Puck Puck, and I was drawing the pictures in like Microsoft Paint, I think, because uh, that's all I had access to on the work computers. Um, I was drawing these little characters in Microsoft Paint with circles, and I came, I just drew this with a bit of paper, and I was like, right, so you'd have to get this power up to get that power up to get that power up to get for the whole. Uh, and that, that was it. So, and then I thought, when I was actually then later making the game, I was like, you know what, I'm going to throw that original idea in here. Whoa. Oh no, I think my keyboard stopped responding. Oh no, okay, okay. Right. Oh, what? No, my keyboard has stopped responding. This is not good. Right. Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, guys. No, I was. My keyboard was getting a bit funny there. Hopefully. Oh, it's only lost two lives. I'm sure it'll be fine. Now. Oh, balls. He says that and then dies again. Right. There's an extra life over there, though. So we're good. Good thing this isn't a Tim has one life on video, because uh, it'd be embarrassing on my own game, not getting very far, right? Um, uh, this is more just to showcase it and say, look, look. Here's the thing what I made. Um, love to hear your feedback, honestly. If there's, uh, you know, please be kind. I'm not a professional. Um, right. Uh, so he's destroying the ground. I think I'm just going to try and destroy him before. Again, this kind of took some inspiration from um, this boss of Sp is it Spring Yard Zone in Sonic, where he's like destroying the floor as you're fighting him. So I did, I did take inspiration from other games. I'm not taking credit for everything here, you know. Again, like I said, this is kind of like my love letter to old games and just the kind of stuff I used to love in, in, in these... Oh, no! Uh, in these sorts of games. Um, different types of bosses and different ways of doing things. And yeah, he's just like destroying the floor. Um, I don't know how many hits he's going to take, hopefully. I'm going to stop dying soon. Um, I introduced, you know, the disappearing platforms and the moving background stuff on the table. So hopefully you'll see that in every level there's something different or something new. Come on, get out here. Right, this way. This guy's taking a bit of time, isn't he? You're taking your time. Right, come on. Yeah, there we go, right. Sweet, right. Snow level, snowman. So, ah, oh, Tsunami Tundra. This is, of course, the Hydra City music from Sonic Spray. Love my Sonic music, so I can help myself. Uh, so this one, I used a snow effect, but similar to the rain. Um, I've got the original Puck Puck Homies now, but little snow hats on. Uh, I thought that was cute. Um, and they are sped up, so they're slightly faster. So, you know, and it's, that's a simple thing. You do something like that and you just add a little bit of variation to your enemies. Super easy to do and it just adds a bit of variation. Ha! I do like the spike guy. I don't think we've seen every power up yet. Um, there's a. Uh, oh, well, I won't spoil it. I, I would love to show you the cannibal we missed earlier. Uh, I'm sure it will turn up. It's just one of those. Uh, there's a few sort of shooty power ups and there's also a few like um, short range. We've seen like the cloud one. Uh, I couldn't help myself with the cloud one. You know, I, was, I, I do love Final Fantasy VII. I was like, ah, I'm going to have a, a cloud power. You swing a sword, that's pretty cool. But I'll have make it. Cloud-esque puck puck. Um, so 
next one. Ever. Yay, the cannibal! Right, so fire, sheep forward. How's that? I, I, I enjoy that. Just launch yourself forward. Let's see if we can get across here before I fall in there. Oh no, a bit flawed though, I guess, that one. Landing there. But, oh well, I've got a pattern of extra life there, that's handy. Whoa! All these enemies. I have to admit, when I was thinking about playing this, I completely forgot about the snow level. Absolutely forgot about it. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure I did every um, platform game trope there is in terms of level ideas. Because um, yeah, this is what I loved to be playing as a kid and that's what I wanted to make. Whew, that was close. Right, I kind of need a power up really, don't I? Let's just keep bouncing. Just keep bouncing. Right, here we go. Ooh, danger down. So let's do a run and jump. There you go. Lisa gave you a warning at the time. Right, bomb. What is it I'm trying to get to here? This. Shield. Oh, I think this is a repeat of the thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Cheeky little copy and paste, I think. And again, you can do that in games, you know. Oh, what? oh no. Uh, one thing that was really fun, actually, in, in Game Maker. Is this slidey? Uh, do you, I think I wanted to make it so that you had, like, the slidey floors. Um, I think for some reason it didn't really work out properly. I can't remember if I just failed to get it working. Oh, that's why you would have wanted the thingy as well, though, right? Ah! Oh, if you had the, um... The shield power up, you defend yourself from the falling icicles, but they are not available in this one. Um, so I lost it. Um, yeah, a lot of the games I made had, like, rather than actually having a level, it'd be one room, and the room would have some rules in it, uh, and the rule would be like, there'd be like a timer, and the longer you're in the room for, the more enemies would spawn. And the background would be scrolling, and you'd move the camera around, and it'd look like you were walking up a field, uh, or you, know, you could have a ship flying or whatever it is, um, and then it'd literally be like, the enemies randomly spawn, and um, the longer you played for, the more enemies turned up, or the harder enemies start spawning up for a certain amount of time. And those games are really fun to make, because you make a game, put a few rules in, and then you launch it and play and have a go. Uh, and you think, oh, I wonder what would happen if I change this rule, uh, if I added this type of thing in. Oh, bugger. Um, oh, I'm down to four lives now, I better start actually concentrating a bit. Um, I was like, oh, I wonder what would happen if you, like, you know, change this enemy, or if I uh, have made this variant of an enemy, and then you just put it in there and launch the game again and have a go. So play testing your own stuff is. It's really fun, you know. It's, I'm looking forward to doing some more. Oh, no, I've just got on top of it. Um, I do want to start looking at doing this sort of stuff again. It's just, you know, time restraints and, uh, oh, come on, and work and things. You know, it's hard to always find time for your hobbies, but it's never too late to return to it, right? You know, there's no, there's no reason why you can't go back to a hobby or something you've enjoyed, no matter how long you've taken a break from it. For me, a lot of it was, uh, you know, starting a family and... Oh, you're kidding me! Right, I really don't want to die uh, on this level. What well, I'm trying to show you, uh, you know, considering I made the game, right. Um, maybe I made this little platform with this dude on a little bit too taxing. Right, I wonder if I try and jump on him. No, I don't think I get high enough. Right, I think I need to kind of be like... There we go. Ah, apologies. Right, so, rock guy lands and creates a shockwave. He'll get me through the bottom. There we go. Right. Teeny, why do I need to be teeny? No, you don't. Do. These guys being faster, you know? And that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, right? You have, like, it's just a thing that they are a bit faster. Uh, and that's all you do. You make them faster, you change the sprite slightly, I mean, smaller and... Um, smaller and blue the hat and... Right. Snowball fight. Yeah, I think I'll take inspiration on this fight from that bit in Rai style when you have like a little snowball fight with somebody. Again, um, you might not necessarily know this if you weren't me, but you can effectively... It's a cheeky way to win. Um, your fireballs go, I think, slightly further than his, and they will eventually get across the screen. Was that right? Am I, did I make that up? Yeah, am I getting slightly closer each time? So my fireballs hit his snowballs. And as you see, this guy's the same sprite as the boss from the last level, just doing his little capital thing, and I just made him blue instead of red. Um, so Carl of Corners, you know, because... I mean, if I redid really this properly, I'd probably want a team of people, somebody to be the music for me, somebody to maybe make the sprites for me, uh, and make the sprites a lot better, uh, you know, would probably be um, the right thing to do. But this was a solo project, so I just I did everything by myself, uh, just learning how to use the software and uh, you know, expanding what I learned at, at university. Right, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. 
and it's probably going to be better if I jump up so that, there we go, it's dead now. Okay, so I could probably jump around and get him, because obviously the snowballs um, show something. So, we've had forest, we know field, forest, cave, sky, snow, obviously I need a sand level. Right, I um, did actually have a bit of an issue there filming, so there was a slight, if you notice there's a slight transition there. It's because uh, I, I mean, you notice my notes, my lives have gone back and my score's back to zero. Uh, I had a bit of an issue recording, so I've had to go back and uh, go back from there. But not an issue. Um, I'll come here to see the score's gone down, but it doesn't matter. Um, I just had a bit of an issue with uh, my recording stuff uh, running out of battery, I need to get charged. Uh, we are back, so I, I'm going to carry on with this level. So yeah, this is the, I think at this point, I mean, you probably found from the last level, the difficulty ramps up quite a bit. Um, so I wanted to start making it more challenging. At this point, I think the early levels... Oh, didn't seem so well, be fine. Let's try again. Why is that not working? Uh, be... hmm, why is that not working? That's weird. Um, okay, I don't know if that's a problem with the... my keyboard or the game. Oh, there, it's working now. Some sort of weird... Like I said, some weird glitches will happen in this, you know, it's a, an amateur production. Let's see if I can get... Right, Stompy. Get to be down here. Get to a tiny. Um, again, a lot of these things, here we go, it's like a little bonus stage error. I can pick which power-up I like most. Um, so I've got my shooting guy, spiky, cannibal. Uh, quite, I think probably the most effective one at the moment is going to be this spiky one, so let's go with him. Okay, so I can't actually you know, shoot off in all directions, but that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I've got... Um, the, the idea for this level, um, I quite like the difference, it's, it's actually kind of uh, hard. Well, do you remember, I remember this level well. Mostly because it took me so long to beat it when I was playtesting, um, so I think I made it a bit too difficult. But in this area, you've got to get through that hole, so you need to be a bomb to blow up the wall, and then you need to be small to get through the gap afterwards. So you have to do two laps of this bit. Um, and I think I just made it a little bit too hard, but, um, you know, I wanted to have a more challenging levels as the game progression. You know, that's the, the point of it, isn't it, really? So at least I've got this guy to help me clear out some of the enemies up here. Um, now what I did was I had the Womp blocks um, so that they, you, you avoid them up here and at the bottom. Um, it's the same ones that you get to lower down. Um, I should be able to get that extra life in just a moment, but I need to not waste my trip. So I need a bomb first, um, which these clouds come back. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably should have made it so the clouds that stay still and the clouds will disappear with different sprites and looks different. Um, you can't actually tell, can you? And it uh, makes it a little bit leery, but hey ho. It's, uh... No! Oh, you damn it. Right, sorry about that. I'm going to have to go back and get it again. Um, see what I mean? Hard, hard bit, this bit. If I can get, once I get past this room, I should be okay for the rest of this level. It's just, um, it, I, I think maybe what I could have done is just made it um, so that you have to get the small or the bomb rather than uh, you having to get both. I think maybe getting both was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Let's be fair to everyone, it's a bit of a harsh review. All right, let's get across here again. Again, all the sound effects and stuff. Oh, you... I apologise, you haven't watched this bit here again. This is kind of what this area was meant to be like for me, though. You know, I deliberately um, made it so that you're going to be going, ooh, doing it again. Um, yeah, it's not my favourite bit of the game. I think I maybe made it a bit too uh, frustrating. I mean, you know, you don't want the game like this to be frustrating, it's meant to be fun. Um, I think I went too far on the difficulty for this area, uh, personally, but, you know, it, it's all a learning experience, you know, you've got to make, uh, make stuff and find your way, you know, find what works, what doesn't work, um, and just keep making stuff, you know. Um, I have made stuff after Puck Puck. Uh, Puck Puck was probably the last big project I did on... Uh, this platform I was using, uh, which is Game Maker Studios, um, and I made a comic book uh, called Flux, Power and Consequence, which was uh, kind of the start of, a, I've got a whole series in my head, I mean, I, 
two passions of mine, computer games and comic books, right? So um, I made uh, a comic book uh, just because I wanted to and I did get printed and stuff and um, didn't, you know, sell a huge amount. Um, I think I kind of want to at some point go to some, like, you know, when, if these things open up again, get a some sort of convention and, and see if anyone wants to buy copies of them. But um, I, you know, gave it, I did manage to sell a few to you know, some friends and family and stuff and gave a few away. And um, again, it's just I just did it for the fun of it. I wasn't doing it to kind of you know become a, a comic a creator or anything. But um, I just wanted to do it for fun. Uh, and I did, oh, that's time is terrible. Um, and it's a, a story about um, a generic sort of superhero story, really, but something that can control. No, that's not going to reach, is it? Sorry, I'll just go again. Uh, someone that can control energy. Um, and I had a whole bunch of ideas for other characters. Uh, so one that can control energy, one that can control time, so you can like rewind time um, and, and do, you know, have do-overs of doing stuff. Um, uh, and I played around with some time travel tropes and things like that. Uh, yeah, it, it was fun. I, I only did the first book in the series. Um, and then since then, I've actually been working on a tabletop card game uh, called Heroes and Villains, a deck building game, and um, yeah, it's uh, not finished yet. I did take a long break from it, uh, mostly just because um, I. Well, that's one of the ones that falls off. So I need to concentrate on it. Uh, mostly, you know, I, I had. Um, I've got two kids, so um, once I started having uh, a young family, a lot of these sort of passion projects of mine uh, took a bit of a backseat for a while to focus on family, um, which you know was the right thing for me to do, and uh, you know. Being, being a parent is, is a big part of my life as well as uh, you know being a gamer and being a comic book nerd and all those other things. All, all, all of these things in life are uh, in, you know, important and uh, family's right up there, right? You know, you've got to put your family first. And I just took a break from doing this sort of stuff. But I hope one day, you know, my kids might do this sort of stuff with me. You know, maybe they want to make a game or a comic book or a, a card game. And, and I mean, I did that all that sort of stuff from a very young age. I can remember I, I actually found a lot of stuff I made when I was a kid. I used to make my own top trumps. I used to love top trumps and I used to make my own. So I'd like get some cardboard and draw pictures of monsters on them and uh, give them different stats and all that sort of stuff and then play my own uh, top trumps game. So then a couple of years ago, I actually made um, a top trumps game again just myself. So I was like, well, I wonder if I can actually make a decent top trumps game now that I'm a grown up, you know? <laughs> I used to do it when I, when I was a kid, I was probably like, you know, eight and I'd be making my own top trumps just for fun. Um, yeah, so I have, I have, I didn't stop making stuff. I just uh, made different things. I thought, right, I've made some games, now I'm making a comic book, uh, and then I wanted to make a tabletop game and make a uh, card game. And I do hope to pr produce that one day. Maybe we'll do a Kickstarter on it or something and actually get that out there. Um, but I needed some help to kind of get it over the line, as it were, just because it, it, you know, it is difficult to finish these things. Um, we've got so much going on. Um, and I've got a few friends helping me out with that. And I've got an idea for another game I want to do. Uh, again, it's another tabletop game, and I think this time around I might do it with a team, because it's a lot of work to do by yourself, so I've got a few people that um, might help me out. Uh, but I want to finish the first card game first. So if you're not familiar with deck builders, uh, deck building games are um, uh, games you start with a small hand, uh, and you have so many um, points you can achieve with the hand you start with, and then in the round you get more cards, you go into your discard pile, you then redraw, and then you draw a more powerful hand. And as you play, your deck gets more and more powerful, so you're effectively building a stronger deck, right? I can't get through that, can I? Because I'm not big enough. Um, I need to get small power. No. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, I keep sticking to the wall, try. Let's get this guy out of the town and get you first. No! Oh, bugger. Sorry about that. Right, um, let's just try... Ignoring him, yes, I can get small, I can't really do that, can I? Well, at least I'm not going to get dark, I get hit after I've done that. There we go, right. I don't think I can move all to get down that way, so let's jump over him. And let's just blow this up, shall we? Go through a big or go through a black explosive? I'm going to go through an explosive. Well, all right, I, I want to be explosive in the next area, I think. Um, if I recall, there's a bit. There you go. You can either go small and get all the coins, you can go this way and get continued. So I'm going to get continued. So yeah, I made, uh, made a game called Heroes and Villains, a deck building game. That uh, was the title uh, that a friend of mine suggested, actually. 
and um, yeah, so uh, one we uh, well, the idea was it was all going to be comic book themed, and you have rather than getting a, a character, because a lot of the games I play are like you know, Marvel and DC kind of games, and where we go, plus fight, um, and you start off with uh, you know a character like you know Superman or Batman, all that sort of stuff. Oops. Um, but I wanted to do like right rather than having a character, you get given traits of a character and kind of you make your own. Um, was the idea of it, and um, I wanted to make it so that. Uh, I want to make it so you like you know you're, you're kind of building up a you, as you're building your deck you're actually leveling up your superhero or your super villain and um, yeah it's uh, been quite fun to do um, just need to finish it really Actually, I wanted to do some I started off as a beta test just doing stuff I, I did Google image searches and grab, grab pictures offline I was like you know I need to kind of create original artwork for this to work properly um, otherwise it's just going to be uh, you know, not, not, not something I'm going to be able to use on Kickstarter. Um, yeah. But yes, so I'm sorry, I didn't really talk about that boss fight at all. I was talking about my um, card game, but that was uh, obviously you had the enemies coming out of the sand there. That was like a spawning thing and uh, different rules. Um, in hindsight, I probably could have included some enemies like that in the level. That would have been quite cool. But um, yeah, I thought that was a different uh, kind of a different style boss fight. So anyway, let's go on to the next level. Uh, the Pap Pap Jungle. Why do I can't these names? So, um, so this level was a, I always say it's a failure, it's a, you know, it was a failed experiment perhaps. What I wanted to include in this level as a, the latest edition was to swing on vines. I was like, oh, you know, wouldn't it be cool if you could like swing on vines and jump to next areas and stuff. And um, I couldn't get the mechanic to work, but so I kept the vines in there. That originally was meant to be a vine you could grab and swing across. And I couldn't get that to work. Um, I thought, you know what, I've got all the images for it and stuff. I'm just going to um, keep it as it is uh, and keep it in there. But I did something a little bit different with the boss for this one, uh, which we'll see soon. Uh, I don't think this level's particularly long because the, uh, I, like I said, I didn't get the thingy to work. I was like, you know what, I'm going to, um... oops. Because the power-up says, obviously I died and clicked the power-up again immediately. Um, oh, you... Or, you know what, right. Um, so yeah, so I, I didn't keep this level as long um, because I failed to get the vine stuff to work because like, oh, I don't see the point in dragging this level out now. Um, but I did do a little bit of a different boss, uh, which you'll see in a bit. Um, and uh, then I go on to the next bit. So yeah, it's a shame that you, I couldn't get the vine thing to work. I mean, if I had, you know, I can say if I had more time, maybe I'd figure it out. It wasn't my kind of deadline for this. Then I wasn't doing it for anyone other than myself. So it wasn't like I had a uh, a producer to appease or a, a lecturer to to win over or anything like that. It was just just something I wanted. I mean, this is far better than the game I actually did for my final year project at university. Um, uh, really, the game I did at university uh, was very unfinished. It was more the concept of it and a lot of the script and uh, how it's going to work. But um, it was kind of just an RPG. It was called Power of Vision. Um, unfortunately, I never finished the actual game, so it's not there to play, but um, I kind of did the whole script of it and um, talked about where, what the game would do and what gaming concepts there were. Uh, and I kind of did a, well, Invincible World, did like a review of gaming as the, as the write-up for it all. Um, talked about, you know, why people play games and the, the, the pattern of um, rewards for playing and games that obviously reward the player for playing it, uh, if you will. <coughs> And how that uh, how it works and what makes people play games and the different types of gamers and things like that. It, it, yeah, it's an interesting interesting project to do. Um, uh, and then uh, yeah, I didn't end up doing gaming mostly due to um, geographical location. Mostly my priorities shifted a bit, and uh, I ended up working in uh, telecoms. So I can telecoms now. Oh no, that was rude. Right. Um, I think uh, I got to a point where. My priority wasn't, um, you know, pursuing games development and stuff as a career. It was more uh, settling down, starting a family. And uh, hey, you know, the girlfriend I was seeing at the time is now my wife of ten years, so it all worked out pretty well. <coughs> <coughs> it was one hundred percent the right decision. So anyway, I'm getting really personal now. Let's uh, talk about this game. Uh, coins, vines. Um, right. So here's the boss. It's uh, a giant snake that's chasing you and you're turns into a ball for this bit, so... Whoa! Oh, right, okay. Um, obviously, it has been a long time since I made this and played it, so I'm not going to remember where uh, the bits are. But I think... Um, 
kind of have to... This is kind of the uh, the callback to things like um, the Battletoad, Battletoad's third level, which we hit the walls, or the second level of the Lion King, the Duck and stuff. Like, oh, I really want to do like a, one of those things that's things chasing you, and you've got to kind of get away. So I did this. Uh, again, it's, it's quite hard, but I think we did quite well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I missed that one up there. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I think it's that thing where like if you get hit, you die. So you've got to like try not to mess up. This is near the end now. Right, where are we? Come on. Oh, at least got one up though, right. I hope that's near the end now, right? Because I suppose this is a good section to like stock up on your lives a bit. Um, right. Let's. There okay. we go. Whoop. I am concentrating quite hard on this now because it's actually pretty difficult this bit. Um, oh, this whole point. Right. Ooh, let's, oh, no, I missed it. Um, so you can get that then. Right, so you can go back and forward a little bit, but you can't stop moving. Because uh, you are a wheel. Um, I just wanted to throw something on this in. Again, like I said before, this is kind of like my Love Letters platform games. Games I like today. Oh, I missed it. Uh, games I like playing, and I just wanted to throw in as many different game elements as I could. Yay! Did it. And that is, as you can see now, um, quite common with games is getting into the start of the next area. So you can kind of see the beginning of the next bit. So this is now my water area. Because, you know, you've got to have a water area, right? Um, aquatic alley. <coughs> Fortunately, uh, the music obviously is bugged out again. Hopefully that will calm down after the first run through. Um, now this was, uh, I've got the splash as you see. Um, you do run out of oxygen. Uh, the way I did this was um, whenever you went through, there's again a filter at the top and there's like an invisible um, square that you pass through that starts the timer. Um, and then if you stay underwater too long, it's gonna make you run out of breath. And when you come out, then um, resets it again. So it's quite a fairly easy mechanic to include actually. Um, and I was like, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. And I've got the little bubble things coming off. Um, I mean, it doesn't look great because you've got like the, the, the you know the filter on top. But here you go. This is the start of the countdown. But there you go. Uh, but this power up uh, allows you to breathe underwater. Um, so the flying one also helps you swim. Was the idea. And um, if you go to the controls bit in the main menu, it does actually say uh, that you can, when you have this power up, you um, can breathe underwater. So, you see the music's back to normal speed now. This is from Lava Reefs, I think, from Sonic, Sonic & Knuckles. Yeah, love my Sonic & Knuckles music and Sonic 3, it's uh, great, isn't it? Uh, right. Right. Now, these levels now, I, I don't remember them overly well. Um, I guess by the time I was doing this bit, I was just flying through, right? I'd done all the hard bits of creating all the... Um, Objects and sort of the music's not hip. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if this was like a professional project, it'd be far from finished, really, right? Because it's just not. Oh, I've got to go. Go, go, go. go. Um, it's just not very uh, polished, is it, really? It's, if I'm being honest, you know, it's not got all the. It's, it's not the final product, is it, really? Uh, but it's as good as I can get it, really. So I'm still, I'm still happy with it. It's just a. Uh, you know, it's not as, uh, it's not professional quality finish, is it, really? Right, let's go get the thing to breathe underwater again. You know, I am, I am still pleased with how a lot of it turned out. Um, a lot of the mechanics work how I wanted them to. It's a shame I didn't get the vines working in that last level, but, um, you know, I like that I've got this flying bit that breaks up the gameplay a bit. I like that I've got... Ways out again, as you can know, obviously, you can use the bomb use of time. I'm going to go for a tiny. Do, 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 do. Right. Extra life. I do think like the desert and the snow level will probably be harder than this. I think this is now probably easier. Um... Oh dear. Right. Never mind. Right. Ooh. So I've kept the want box going throughout multiple levels. Right, I need to hurry up. I think I'm going to run out of, I'm going to run out of oxygen. I'm going to run out of oxygen! Uh, oh, there we go. That's what you're right. Yeah, okay. Right. 
Again, I don't think I can't reach there, can I? Oh, I'm just gonna, this is gonna be horrible. Right, I don't think I can jump over him. He's gonna have to wait over here. Get over you. Leg it past his spikes you can barely see. And get a thing. There we go. Easy, easy. Right. I think if I can get them tiny, I can get through there. The one up. I've got ten lives. They so should be okay. So I'm instead going to. Oh, I was going to say. Instead, I'm going like just scoot past the whole level on this with this thing. And um, that didn't work out, did it? Because uh, they've got power. We changed it, right? But Spikey's cool. We like the Spikey dude. As long as he doesn't drown. Ah. I, was, I suppose I could have done like the harder enemies of this beer, or I'm sort of kind of included jumping on up the walls as a feature, and really it's a glitch, isn't it? Um, oh, here we go, this is one of the bosses. Oh, you know, I took inspiration again on this one from um, Rice Star, it's another game I really enjoy. Um, and it, it, there's a level where like you destroy the plug at the bottom and as you destroy the plug. Oh, crap. Um, the water level low lowers down. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh. And uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something like that because I like that idea. So these guys you can't actually hit. Um, they're these weird giant fish. Uh, so what I need to do is go up here. I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll do it again. Uh, get a bomb. I'm going to drop down here. No, I'm not going to I'm going to go blow up that. And that should make the water level actually come down. Um, and it gets harder then because... Uh, right, uh, sorry guys, I missed the end of the boss fight there because there was a problem with my storage. Um, so I had to stop recording. Uh, did it, we cleared up some space, started recording again. I am back, but um, you missed the end of that boss fight. Um, I would go back and redo it, but I'd have to go back and do the whole level so I didn't notice until after I'd finished that level and got on to the next one. Uh, luckily, this is right at the start of the next level, so we haven't missed a lot. Uh, but basically, in that boss fight, um, you blow up the plugs, the water level drains out, and then the fish creatures uh, fall on their backs and just flop around. You just have to jump on them to beat them. Uh, it's a shame, because it actually looks pretty cool. I thought the uh, water flowing out and the sound effect it made and stuff just looked pretty cool. And then the, the boss just kind of flopped on the floor and he jumped on them. Um, I thought that was quite fun, but hey, never mind. Well, uh, it, it's not worth it to go all the way back through that level just to show you that one bit. Um, I'll just get on with this. So yeah, this, this next level is the uh, Mount Puck Puck, it's called. Uh, sorry you missed the beginning, but um, I'm sure you won't mind. It's, um... So yeah, I wanted to do a level, uh, whoa, uh, which was, again, I've taken this mechanic out again. Uh, oh, and it's raining rocks everywhere. Um, I wanted to do... Uh, a level where you're being chased by stuff going up to do that boss level. Um, and I wanted to do a volcano. I thought, oh, this would be cool. I've already done like an underground level, but you know what? I wanted to do a volcano. So here we go. This is falling into the volcano. And uh, do you know what? I forgot about that. That looks awesome. I forgot I did those. Little fiery ones. That's pretty cool, right? Um, I'm going to just avoid them. Um, I didn't even look at the smoke effect. That's pretty cool. Uh, I like that. I, I, I completely forgot I did that. Well done, like, past me. Uh, and then, yeah, this is it. So I was like, do you know what? I'm going to do a bit where you've got to try and get... Can I kill these things? Uh, you've got to try and get away. Yeah, you can't kill them. Spot. I don't think you can jump them. The lava's rising, right? So I was like, oh, this be cool. We're going to try and, like, chase up the level. Um, again, like I said earlier, it's just, it's always, for me, it's all about trying to include... Loads of different game tropes and different things I really liked in games I'd played um, that I wanted to include. So anything I thought, oh, this would be a fun idea, and did. And that's fun about doing a project by yourself. You don't have anyone else to convince. If you want to do something, you just do it. You know, you don't, you're not doing it for anyone but yourself. If you think something's a good idea, just go for it. And not every idea lands. You know, some ideas aren't, aren't great and they, they don't work out. But, you know, like the vines I <laughs> tried to do. Um, but yeah, it's such a fun thing to, to do. Um, I do think I will have to go back and try and do something. Um, I'm going to attempt, and you know, if, if you never see anything on the back of it, um, it might be a failure, but I'm going to attempt to look at the Fuse for uh, Switch um, that the Oliver Twins actually recommended on a stream we did with them over on Retro Game Revival, um, which was amazing. If you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. It was fantastic. I mean, I'm sure most of the people watching me at the moment are people that have uh, nerved at me through 
uh, being on a panel with the other guys on Retro Game Revival. But you know, if you amaze me from my past triangle face stuff I've done, uh, do go check them out. It's, re it's really good. Um, I'm having a great time, you know, doing the streams and stuff and talking to people. Um, right now, I'm going to get so I came out. Are oh, you son of a bitch? Ugh. Um, so I came out of the volcano, now I'm going down the other side, you know, it's, uh, oh, you, you, no, 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 right. Um, I just thought it was a good idea to have, like, oh, where are these rocks coming from? You know, you're outside now. Um, didn't think about that, but, um, right. Shield would be handy right now, but, right, let's just try and get out of here. Right, and boss fight. Um, oh, do you know what? I don't remember this guy. Oh no, I do. Yeah, he goes that colour and he comes down to refuel on his way down. Get bop. Comes out the other side. Yeah, I should be okay with this guy. Shoots the fireball. You can, you'll notice like the fireball mechanic I've got here is basically the same as the snowballs I had from the boss the, earlier, and um, change it to fire and obviously a bit faster. But always it's like those fireballs get created and they aim towards wherever you are when they fire. So you're just going to keep moving to avoid them. Um, Fire, the lava, here he comes, and we're gonna shoot. Okay, I think these later levels were a bit shorter because I was like, I had an idea, or I did it, and we've done. I think some of the earlier levels were a bit longer. I think the snow level maybe was a bit long, maybe the, um, uh, the desert level was a bit long. Again, okay, this is a harder boss fight, really, mostly because you don't uh, have a power up, but like all the other boss fights you've been given. Uh, power ups and stuff in order to beat them. It's like, you know, I'm gonna have one where um, you don't have any power ups, you just, you're just you on your own and one hit and you're done for. But obviously, I found the, uh, the pattern here, it's not been too bad. Oh, what did they get me? Oh, I know. I think I just uh, was a bit too um, eager there to jump on him, I guess. I came in at side. Okay, let's try and be a bit more steady this time. Uh, hopefully, this won't. Take too long to do, and I can see. I think the next level might be the end, might be the last level. Um, and yeah, it'd be really cool if we can kind of get to the end. And yeah, if anyone's still watching, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some people will enjoy watching us. Yay, did it! Huzzah! Right, I'm sure there'll be. Uh, here we go, final level. So that is the end now. Puck Puck City. Do you know what, there's one power-up we've not seen yet, and if you notice in there, it is the boxer. There's a boxing one that's just not turned up in the whole game. I think it's one of the random power-ups you get. Uh, I think whenever it's been randomised, I just happen to have gotten the cloud one for the damage. Right. Um, so, as you can see, that's where the boss from level two. <coughs> Again, there's a lot of games that do that. They're like, you know, they'll bring out one of the characters from one of the earlier levels. There you go, there's the boss from level one. So well. Just get across here. Um, you know, it's, it's like, uh, I always remember in Streets of Rage, I think it was, you, you get to one of the last levels and all the bosses you'd already beaten just like turned up again as like normal enemies. It's like, what the hell? Uh, I always thought that's kind of cool. So it's like, you know what, I can do that too. Um, right. Versions of the bosses included in these levels. Right, I think this guy, I need to actually bounce off to get across, so I won't actually kill him. I uh, just need to get off his. Get over his head. This uh, is uh, the music is from Flying Battery Zone uh, from Sonic and Knuckles. Uh, that, this is one of my favourite Sonic tracks. Ooh, ah, oh, yeah. Ah, oh. oh well. Um, Great track, this one, right? Great track, right? Let's see this one this time. Do, do, do. It's all kind of... Uh, I know, it's, it's a really epic song, right? I thought, you know, last level... Uh, obviously, in Sonic, it's, uh, like, level two, I think. But, um, I just thought, you know what? It's cool. I'm using it. Obviously, again, I keep repeating myself. But if, if I had to make this game um, properly, I wouldn't be able to use any of this music. Right? It's all copyright. I can't, I can't use this. Um, you know, the, the only stuff that I've done originally is the any of the sprites that are bad. I call them probably the enemies. And I, I completely forgot I've done like the lava enemies. That was look pretty cool. I think. You know, 
So do you say same yourself? Right, oh dear, I think I started too late. Ah, oh. come on. You can do it. You can do it. No. Okay, right. This time. Right. Where are they? There they are. Right, ready, go. Wow, 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 right. Get some enemies. Right. Uh, it's been really fun. Uh, I hope it's been fun for you guys watching um, and just learning about uh, the process and experience I had making this game. Uh, for me, it's been super fun reliving it and going back because I honestly haven't touched this game in years. It's been over a decade since I played this game and yeah, it's just been fantastic to be like, you know what, let's play some Puck Puck and, and do a video on it or, you know, start doing my short videos of playing games um, and, you know, trying to see how far I get on one life and that sort of thing and um, playing the Mary Kate and Ashley games for some reason. Uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to play one of my games. I'm going to go in with Puck Puck and showcase one of the things I worked on uh, many years ago. Uh, and hopefully, you know, everyone enjoys seeing what I did. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback. I'd love to get some questions. Um, uh, I've, I've, I've been talking all the way through and talking about some of the stuff I did, but I'm sure there's things I haven't explained or talked about that some people might want to say, oh, how does this work and how does that work? Feel free to hit me up. Uh, I'm sure there's way more knowledgeable people than me online willing to talk to you, but um, if anyone wants to know how I did this stuff, it's all done through like logic gates. Um, and it's uh, once you've built the logic, it's quite quite easy to build the level zone really, you just, just limited only by imagination. There's loads of games that already exist that you can then start as so templates, um, loads of tutorials, so obviously when I did my university course I learned how to do different styles of games, did like an asteroid clone, did a Pac-Man clone, um, and then I did like, I thought you know I was going to do this platform game and uh, managed to build the gravity and the platforms. So actually the, I mentioned the invisible platforms, um, what they're actually doing is um, each one has a smaller block inside it that pushes you in the direct in a certain direction um, so you don't get stuck in the walls so if you touch that block which is like a few pixels inside the block you're that's meant to be solid for whatever reason because of the shapes of the sprites and stuff that happens um, you kind of get pushed out because before I did that um, you just got stuck in the walls and it's really annoying right uh, so this is a revisit to the fish box which yeah unfortunately didn't get to see the end of Ooh. Um, Unfortunately, limitations of recording equipment. Oh my days! Oh Jesus, that was there's absolutely tons of them. Didn't remember putting that many in here. Uh, maybe I went a bit trigger happy with spawning the uh, thing. Can go see if there's anything over here. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. This is a huge room. Let's just see if there's uh, anything on the other side. Um, It'll let me through, or if I do have to just navigate my way past all the giant fish. I think I do. This room is massive. What was I thinking? Oh, an extra life for your troubles. <laughs> right, okay, let's go all the way back then. Sorry about this. This is going to be a long way. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I'm surprised the boxing puck puck just hasn't shown up throughout this whole game. How bizarre. Um... Yeah, I did, uh, see, I did um, uh, First Person Shooter, actually, as well. It's quite fun. It's based on uh, the tutorial, kind of, was a game that looked a bit like Doom, and then I changed the enemies in it to be bees, and I changed all of the walls to be honeycomb. Uh, and I made a game where you're, you're going around a beehive shooting giant bees with a shotgun, uh, which was super fun. It was awesome. Um, we had, uh, I couldn't quite get, what I wanted to do is I have a quick button. So you push a button, and the character says, like, uh, action movie one-liner. Uh, and I couldn't get it to randomise, I tried to do an effect where like, you push the button and there's a random like 1 in 6 or whatever, and then whatever the number lands on it plays a different file. But when we ran it in practice it just like blurted out all the different uh, sound effects. Uh, so in the end we just put one in each number, so when you're playing on a keyboard you press number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, uh, or whatever, and it would have one of the different B puns. Um, uh, it was a friend of mine who I lived with at university, he was my housemate, and he did all the voices for me. Uh, and we were playing, like, you just push the button, it's like, goddamn bees. Um, there you go, Boxer! We finally got to see him on the final level. There you go, Boxing Puck Puck. That's quite cool. Yeah, all, all the sound effects and stuff, always like, there's loads of 
resource packs you can get. I don't know if that's safe, but yeah, I had a feeling that was going to be a pitfall death. Well played past me. Didn't give me that time though, did you? Alright, AJ. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to go under him. Oh, no, I can't go under him. I thought it was going to go. Oh, and I died. Right, okay. Um, Make it. Oh, I'm died on there. Right. So, do I need to. Maybe I need to fall down? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't really remember that right. Let's get rid of this guy. Ooh. Okay, get past that. Um, I always thought it was something cool about, like, you know, you get to the final level and then all the boss characters are there. It makes it feel like, uh, you know, this is where they all came from, sort of thing. These are all the battles. I mean, I, I never really thought much about the story, as I like wanted to have that basic, you know, you got to go save people story. Um, so you got to go save the rest of your people. The pup pucks. Uh, do you know what's going to be really satisfying, actually, is finishing this game and watching the ending sequence. So I did a little ending sequence like I did the, at the beginning. Uh, well, that's really horrible to look at, isn't it? Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I put a few effects in there and things like that. Those bits were interesting, actually. I did um, whole objects and sprites, a lot of the sprites and things like that, like I've been talking about, just for those, like, few moments. It's like a, you start a room, and the, the puck puck um, object that you control throughout the whole game was just, like, um, uh, not used at all. You just had another one I had to recreate that um, followed a few triggers, and I basically put invisible blocks that the puck puck would then walk into, and when it hit the block, it would jump, or when it hit the block, it would then turn the direction. And all the kind of stuff I used in the game to make the enemies and stuff. Oh, no! Oh, no, that's going to get me done. Uh, all the same ones I used to make the enemies and stuff. That's just kind of kill me, isn't it? Um, I used to make the cutscenes. That's kind of how I did that. Um, let's see if I can maybe not die this time. Let's try and get through. Um, so I don't know how what time right now. I've obviously had to do a few different um, takes, so... It could be quite a long video, but I uh, appreciate you watching and, you know, you may well have skipped around and just like, think, oh, you know, that looks at level like interesting and then jump ahead to another one. That, that's fine, you know. Uh, any engagement is good. I appreciate you watching. And if you can, please like the video. Please subscribe. Um, you know, every subscriber counts. It'd be really good to get my subscriber count up. Um, obviously, I took a long seven-year hiatus, I think, from making videos and um, i been really enjoying coming back to it and making some videos again and, and having fun doing some simple videos. And some, uh, playing some games and stuff so it'd be really good to get some more subscribers get some more interest so if you like it please share it around um uh, like and subscribe uh, it's all appreciated um, there we go right du, 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 du. Well, i've got a feeling this has got to be near the end soon i can't even remember what was the final boss i did i don't remember um you know as soon as i saw that like that lava dude i was like oh, i remember this but before I started, I was like, I don't remember. I remember there was like a, a forest, and I remember there was like the snow bit, and I remember there was a, no, no, I didn't remember the snow bit. I remember there was like the underwater Aztec level and all that sort of stuff, but so much of this, I'm like, I'm only, I'm just rediscovering it as I'm going back. It's been fantastic to go back and like relive it all. It's like, oh yeah, I did this. Um, it's quite a long game, actually, I think. I think I did well. That's why I completed part of it. Right, uh, apologies guys, there has been a few uh, technical issues, I've had a few issues with my camera and uh, storage and uh, power, um, so I've had to do a few interruptions, but um, it's fine, we've uh, got to the end of the game, so we need to fight this final boss. Um, I do fear I made this bit a bit too hard, but hey, um, you just need to kind of blow up this guy at the bottom, but there's spawning enemies. I think the thing that makes this a bit too hard is these guys here on that second shelf just really getting and stopping you from uh oh really that spawned right really bad timing right hopefully i'm not going to uh, run out of lies on here that is i'm going to try and be quick and get oh come on that jump's really hard to make as well um if i can uh and stay on top of the spiky ones that spawn. Um, it might make things a bit easier on me because these guys, you just don't want them to overload you. Um, they 
as well get in the way quite badly. Oh no, I was trying to blow them up. Right, okay. Whew, I really don't want to die on this bit. Um, there's three of them down there now, right. Oh, I was trying to time it so I blew them up. I think that might. Do they? Well, hopefully, maybe I've got a limit on that, so there's only three. Maybe I should just avoid them. Maybe that'd be better. Um, That uh, is enough to damage him, but I'm hoping that there will always just be enough of a gap <laughs> with these spiky guys to uh, get down. We'll get this big game back up, really, that's the issue, isn't it? There we go. Right. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really appreciate uh, you guys checking this out. There's a password, congratulations. It's a cheat mode entered. I'll show you that in a bit if you like. Uh, yeah, this is the, the ending. At last, all the pucks were freed. And yeah, there they all free out the same net, they got taken away. And there you go. The puck pucks started their long journey home. And the brave puck puck who saved them all amazed his friends with stories of his adventure. All the Puck Pucks celebrated long into the night. And the Bad Pucks never bothered them again. There you go. And there's a fireworks effect I found. Um, this has been so much fun to get back and play this again. Um, really appreciate anyone who's watched this video, especially if you stuck out to the end. Good on you for watching something this long. But wow, um, what a fun uh, project it was, and what fun it was to go back and revisit it after so many years. Um, really fantastic. Um, yeah, and this is like a little thing I did at the end as well. All the all the different power up pucks and there's the fire. Yeah, so the the, the congratulations password. You put in that that password at the start of the screen. Uh, you then enter like a cheat mode where you can cycle through the power ups just by hitting enter. And you can just like pay, like, have whatever power up you want at any point in the game, which I thought was quite a fun little reward for beating the game. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you like some of the different uh, level design I did and the different boss battles I came up with. Um, sorry, you missed a little bit in the middle there with the fish boss fight. Um, again, I had a few technical difficulties while recording it, and I didn't want to have to go back and redo the entire thing. Um, <clears throat> it didn't really seem worth it for the small amount of footage you would have missed. Um, just had a few issues of storage and, and uh, battery. But hey-ho, uh, these things happen. Uh, not a problem. Um, the important thing is that you now I've got this out and uh, hopefully people have enjoyed it. Um, yeah, please please uh, feel free to comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd really like to know what you guys think of this. If you'd like to see any of the other games that I made uh, in a video of this style, uh, I could do some more. Uh, this is probably the biggest one I've done, to be fair. So n nothing else is really going to compare to this one. This was like my uh, my biggest project that I did. And as I said the other projects I've done have been a comic book, um, which I do have available if anyone is interested. Uh, and um, I'm working on a card game, which I hope to be. Um, uh, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to finish it. Uh, obviously, lockdown and pandemic has is, is, is slowed things down, but I would really like to finish that at some point. Uh, so you never know. It may end up on the Kickstarter. It may not. It may just end up in a box in my loft and never be seen again. <laughs> but hey ho. Right, you have unlocked cheat mode. So now the background's all funky. There you go. So I can start again from the beginning. I'm not going to do this whole thing again, but let's skip the intro. Um, uh, and you'll see now I can go through power-ups. So I can literally just go, wee, uh, and just have a bit of fun playing through, uh, possibly trying to get a better score or whatever, do score attacks and things like that. Uh, let me know what your favourite power-up is. What's your favourite puck puck? You know, what, what did you like? What didn't you like? Um, maybe not what didn't you like, be kind. <laughs> anyway, I'm a bit uh, tired now. It's very late and I've been playing this game a long time. Um, so I'm rambling now, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.